Hello friends and welcome back. It's Astro here, we're back in the wonderfully chill world of RimWorld. Well, I say wonderfully chilled. So far we've like almost lost a bunch of people a bunch of times. We've lost our dog. We failed to recruit uh, some timber wolves. We've been raided a couple of times. It's 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 been an eventful game so far. But hey, this is this is just RimWorld. This is just what it's like. Um, you know, you can't be upset about that. It's just something that happens. Um, today, I think we need to expand this front section here a little bit. I mean, we've got our hydroponics bay that's going to be coming online soon. We're, we're in the middle of a solar flare at the moment, which uh, has knocked out all of our lights and things. So these guys are probably night owl in the daytime, slept in the cold. Hmm. In the darkness. Okay. So because all of the lights are out, people are starting to get upset that they're working in the dark. But I think for the time being, we should be okay. It shouldn't last for too long. These solar flares don't last for too long. So let's uh, let's let the solar flare pass, and then we can worry about uh, getting these guys uh, some warmth going on. Because at the moment, inside it's 12 degrees, 18 degrees outside. So it's colder in here than it is. That's a bit weird. Oh dear. Okay, this food is going to spoil in one day. That is a problem. And unfortunately, there is stuff all we can do about it. Food's gonna last longer. All right, maybe. Spores in three days. Ah, oh, and I can't cook anything either. All right, well, for next time, let's change this to 20. 20. And 10 lavish meals. That way we can chew through whatever of this doesn't spoil by the end of the uh, solar flare. Hopefully we don't have any spoilage going on. Uh, we should also, just because we're getting towards winter time, we should pop in a little uh, a little heater here. We'll probably need a couple of them eventually, but one should sort of take the chill off for the time being, uh, because at the moment it's... I mean, it's too cold for these guys. They don't like it being 13 degrees in their bedroom. Even though they've got blankets and stuff, they prefer it to be 21, which is fine. You know, everyone has their own preferences and their own comfort levels. And if they want to have 21 degrees, then they can have 21 degrees. That's cool. Let's speed things up a little bit and let's check out how the beauty of these rooms is looking. Okay, so this one's doing quite well. It's a, a decent room. This one's mediocre. Uh, somewhat poor because we've still got a raw wall here. Somewhat poor, somewhat poor. Oh, sorry, mediocre. Mediocre, 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 decent. Okay. So Mike's bedroom's not too... God damn, this... Go away. Mike's bedroom's not too bad because he's got this steel sculpture, apparently. So what's that? Poor. This one is good. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at this room now. Gives 100, slightly impressive, decent, excellent. Okay, great. The power's come back online, which means this room should drop back down to minus three, which means, okay, everything's frozen again, which is great. This squirrel has just, I think, eaten some muffalo meat, but that's okay. That's not too much of a problem. We get some of these plates made up, so in the event that we do have another blackout, these will last a little bit longer. Um, like they'll last for three days rather than just two. So that might be a good way to, you know what? Peace talks opportunity. Let's go 30, 30, 20. Okay. What's this? Peace talks. The kin lead of Kabe has sent us a message. Hakuja, a chief. She wants to talk with us in a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations with their faction, but beware, a poor negotiator will cause more harm than good. Hmm. So let's have a look. We'll see where this is. Generating planet. It said a nearby location. Okay, so that's cool. That's not too far away. And then there's um, 
this one up here, outpost, which we need to destroy. I mean, we're not going to be... We're not going to be doing too well at either of those. Let's have a look at this. Great, let's deconstruct those. Excellent. We're not going to be able to get to those, really. Uh, I think that that's going to be too much of a stress for us. We don't have any, like, uh, provisions that we can take with uh, to keep us, you know, fed while we're on the, on the trek. Ideally, to do that, we'd need to get pemmican. Because pemmican is a really good sort of... It, it lasts for a long time and it can... Uh, uh, it can be carried with you on your way. But at the moment, we're getting smithing and then we're going to push our way through... I mean, we can eventually get through to gum turrets. Oh, we need microelectronics as well. Right, and then gun turrets. So we're a long way from some of these things. I think uh, some bows are then pushing our way to gunsmithing. Blowback, gas, precision, charged. Okay, so this is all long arms down to here. Gun turrets are going to be handy, so that requires blowback as well. What? What was that noise? Cargo pods? <gasps> what goodies? What goodies? Oh, <laughs> When they crash landed, they killed a, um, a tortoise, by the looks of it. Yeah. It's, it's got, its nose has been torn off and everything's been shredded. Poor thing. Anyway. Uh, and there's no one there that's just deteriorating due to being unroofed. But that's okay. It's some iguana skin. I don't know some, why someone had a cargo put pod full of iguana skin shooting through space, but, you know... Whatevs. Let's, uh, let's have a look in here. So this is coming along ever so slowly. What's boom? Oh, she's asleep at the moment. Let's crank this up a little bit. Uh, we've got another small sculpture here, which we can install. Excellent. We'll just keep dotting these about until we, uh, you know, until we run out of space. He's working on another one at the moment. 129 work left on that one, so when that's ready, we can add that to the list. We might pop a couple around in this sort of common area here, because this is probably somewhat impressive. Okay, just by being really huge, or what? The chairs are adding to it. We've got this here. There's a big patch of dirt on the floor, which is not the greatest, but... Huh, okay, well, maybe we don't need to put anything in this area. It seems to be sort of taking care of itself as it is. We've got a mad animal. Oh, shit. A boom rat. Alright. So this here boom rat needs to be dealt with. Otherwise, it is going to make explosions occur. So let's get Radman and Mike. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm going to have to wake you up. I need you to come to here. Uh-oh. Alright, we've got to be careful of this. The good news is it's moving away from our base. So... Uh-oh, Mike, move away from it. Move away from it. Okay. That actually worked out relatively well. We do have a fire, but we can quickly stomp that out. Hopefully it's, you know, there's not too much going on there. So that should keep things under control. Um, what I'd like to do is just clear a bit of space here. It's a bit cluttered at the moment, and I don't like it being like this. So what I might do is just pop some orders down and say, cut plans. So we want to clear this area here. And we'll clear here. Just so we just have a little bit of dead space here. I don't want all of these trees and things in the way. I wouldn't mind clearing all the way down to here so we can set up this as a fire zone. Uh, but I can also put another uh, set of sandbags back up here so it's a bit closer to the entrance. Uh, but yeah, so that cutting that down will do two things. One, it provides us a bit better line of fire for anyone that's coming and attacking us. And two, any lightning or fires or stuff like that won't just rip through this and get into our base or into our um, into our power production facilities, which is a good thing. We don't want that. So we'll let that tick along. 
Boom is uh, smoothing out the floor in the new hydroponics area, which is good. The next thing we need to get her to do is to do uh, some more concrete. So floors, concrete, across here. Great. And this sun lamp is off for plant resting period. Okay, good. So Boom's gonna go ahead and, and smooth out the rest of this floor and then we can get some hydroponics gear up and running. This battery should start yeah, it's dis they're all discharging at the moment because it's night time, obviously. Uh, and we're not really that windy at the moment. Mm, where is... Transport, hospital, beds, refining... I guess it must be so... There it is, geothermal power. So that needs microelectronics basics. Wow, look at that tree. Okay. Which needs machining which needs smithing. Okay, cool. So we're, we're on the way towards geothermal power as well. And geothermal, if you've not played this game before, these steam vents that are here, these geysers, uh, they just constantly poop out steam like this. And you pop this little doobly-doo on top of it, a little machine on top of it. It's like a three by three machine. And it just, yeah, converts the heat differential, I guess, into power. And you then connect that up to your network. And even when it's nighttime and these are offline or it's still and these are offline, it'll just continually make power. I suppose I could also build a chem fuel generator or a wood generator. But uh, I think these at the moment with these battery banks are kind of doing the trick. They're keeping us ticking along, keeping us up and running. Okay. I wonder. We've got this corpse storage area here. We've got, oh, another sculpture, excellent. And what's this one, pour? So we can have that one here. So I wonder if maybe we need a little prison here as well. Might not be a bad idea. Just in case we, uh, we have some people join us, well, some people attack us, and then we can, uh, yes, shove them in jail and hang on to them and sort them out, as it were. So let's build that one, two, three, four. Um, oops, architect, cancel this. I want it one more. Two, three, four, five. Okay, great. Then we will, we, whoops, cancel that. Then we will go to orders and we will cut plants in here good. We're going to need a floor in here, which can be, I guess, I guess we'll stick with the marble. We've got plenty of marble. We'll just put some marble floors in. Uh, and then one, well, that's, we don't really want that there, but that's okay. We need a door and we may as well use a marble block for the door as well. Pop that there. Good. We're going to need some beds, which can go here, here, and here. So three prisoners maximum. We'll have a little one by two table for them, like this, with some chairs around it. I mean, a lot of people, oh, they're having a party. I haven't built a party spot. Where is the party spot? Furniture, joy. Joy? No. I thought it was in here. Misk? Yes. Let's have a party spot here. A marriage spot out here. Good. No worries. And you know what? Not yet. We'll build some sarcophagi just in case any of our friends croak because I like these grave gravestones which are just a simple hole in the ground that's for enemies they get stuck there our people they're gonna go up here somewhere maybe along oh look got this lovely wall here we can make like a um yeah encrypt 
a crypt where we can store our beloved dead. Okay, good. So this room, uh, I was saying just now before the party began, what I like to do with these rooms is have it set so that, like I don't want my rooms to be poor for my prisoners. I don't want to just shove them into a tiny room and go, look, that's it, you're done. I want them to be comfortable so that they're easier to recruit. So to that end, we're going to pop in some uh, some nice things like a little uh, plant here. We'll have some end tables for them as well. And then we'll pop a sculpture in here when the next one arrives. Because I think that was the one that I said was going to go, oh no. Oh, what is this one? A normal one. Okay, great. Install that right there. Excellent. Good. Everyone's partying still. They're just going to tootle around up here and have a chat. It's a shame we don't have any beer for them. I'd love to get... I'll tell you what. Let's make that our priority. We'll get the prison done this episode. And then next episode... Well, I want to get this up and running as well. But next episode, I want to start getting our constant supplies set up in this room. So we'll get some hops, we'll get some heel root, we'll get some rice, and then those big ticket items that we really need can always be ticking along up here. We can have our big um, potato sort of harvests coming out of this. And I mean, we've got mountains of, of vegetables at the moment, so there's not really a problem there. Uh, the main problems that we're having at the moment is, I mean, how much cotton do we actually have? It's raccoon leather, muffalo leather, deer hide. Wow, cloth. Holy dooly. Oh my goodness me. Okay, well look, let's add some bills to this. Add... We want... Uh, some pants. Until you have X. And we're going to make that out of clear all cloth. Okay. We want... Do we want 10 pairs of pants? We may as well. Uh, we want some shirts, button down shirts would be nice. Do until you have 10 and we'll just have them using cloth for that. We would like some dusters. I always like having some dusters about and we want that made out of clear or some kind of leather. Great. Uh, what else? Toques? Let's have some toques as well have cloth toques and we want some do you want to you have clear all good all right so we can tune this up later on but this is going to net us a really good amount of uh you know clothing for our dudes i think we need a big wardrobe though because at the moment, it's all going to be getting poured into here. And I kind of... That that stockpile is getting very uh, overpopulated. It's, it's a little bit full. So we'll have to figure out where we're going to put all of our clothing. So that it's easily accessible. Uh, isn't going to take any space away from any of this sort of guff. And then... Ooh, another good one. Let's pop that here. Right in the common room. So when people are having their, their dinner and stuff, they can admire this good statue that Mike keeps. He's doing really well. He's churning out some really good stuff. All of these rooms now, like his room is slightly impressive. Mediocre. Slightly, slightly decent. Slightly. Okay. And this room, somewhat. Excellent. Good. So, we'll get the prison finished off. We'll get that declared up as a prison. We'll get some... Uh, hydroponics underway we'll build out a, uh, a new thing for these clothes I mean this is poor I would like to see that being a little bit more a little bit higher quality but that's okay we can work on that all right guys well I think I'll probably um, finish it off there we're ending at a nice clean spot and I'll catch you guys next time see ya